there are seven different modes based on do re mi fa so la ti do and the and the formulas the scale formulas that those intervals produce and there's three minor modes and three major modes and our pentatonics are the five common notes of the minor modes that's our minor penta five note tonic scale and the major pentatonic that's the five common notes of the major modes so that's like our swiss army knife and so when you're playing blues and blues rock minor pentatonics all the way if you're playing more traditional blues a lot of shuffles then you weave the major and minor pentatonics together and that's an art form one of my uh, biggest goals for working with students is helping students find their own voice a lot of the songs that i've put here in the channel uh, are songs, a number of them I've written. And one of the reasons that I didn't want to just put a whole bunch of covers, there's a million channels on YouTube that'll teach you how to play every cover in the world. But all of the songs that I've written have come from one of my favorite songs. And I'll just give you a, uh, just a little cross section of what I mean there. <laughs> you're just learning how to play the guitar or if you're learning how to play and you want to be able to write songs come up with your own you know song ideas your own leads and everything everything's repackaged <laughs> there's only five notes and three chords to the nut of the blues so everything's repackaged and a lot of times we want to make it complicated and it doesn't have to be you know, um, so that song. I play the E down there instead of up here. And then it's just a three chord song, A. To D, and then it goes up to E. There's an example of a three chord song that's not just straight 12 bar blues, but it's also straight 12 bar blues. So there's that. There's a song that I wrote called I Went Down Easy. <laughs> One, four, five. That's based on my E, and it's just using a riff from my E minor pentatonic. Then it plays, that's an A. Back to the E, and then a B, A. And that song was inspired by Zeppelin's The Lemon Song. So everything that I've written comes from something that inspired me or some kind of something that I pulled from my well that I collected along my career. So everything that I've written comes from something that inspired me or some kind of something that I pulled from my well that I collected along my career. 
you know, Hey Joe is one of the songs that I use as an excuse to teach new students or to just teach in general because it has all five chord shapes it's in the key of E and it's great for learning your open chords and learning your bar chords. Keep in mind that when you're playing lead, you really do just have five notes in the pentatonics and it's breathing life into them. And my teacher told me early on, Kelly, I can do more with one note than you may ever figure out because I wanted to play all these notes. And it took me a, a long time to really get that. You know, I started getting it incrementally, but then I discovered guitar players like Roy Buchanan. And it's like, oh, okay, please look at Roy's version of Hey Joe on YouTube from Austin City Limits, like 1977. He's my favorite guitar player of all time. So if you're not familiar with him, there's none better. I'm a big believer that if there's a guitar player style that you like, especially if they happen to teach, steal everything that you can from them and pick their brain as to why they do what they do and realize that everyone's unique.